Hi, welcome to ClickMyProject.com. The requested paper is White Box Traceable Cypher Text Policy Attribute Based Encryption Supporting Any Monotone Access Structures. Let's have a look on our abstract. In a Cypher Text Policy Attribute Based Encryption, uh, each user is issued by a decryption key based on the user attributes he possesses. In multiple users who have the same set of attributes, it is not possible to find the malicious user who tries to leak their decryption key privileges to other users or to some third parties. To address this problem, we propose a new TCP ABA system which is efficient and secure which also adds traceability a concept of finding malicious user to the existing one. Let's have a look on our project flow. Start the process. Then add users. Add users in sense if the user ID is already exists then there is no problem or else we have to create the new user ID by mentioning username, login name and password. After uh, creating users connect with server and log in with your user name and password. Then uh, submit your attributes and send it to server. The server receives the attributes from the users. Then client send the file request to the user. The server receives the file request and encrypt the file using public key. The key is generated based on the user attributes. Later it will generate signature based on the user attributes. Then the server verifies the signature with the client. If the verification result is true then it will send the decrypted file and key to the user. The client receives the key and file. When it decrypts the file it will be traced by the tracer. The tracer checks whether the client or user uses the key issued to him. If the key is correct then it will allow the decryption process or else it will block the key and send the report to server. Stop the process. Let's see the demo of our project. Run server first. Then and tracer. Click the button start tracer. The tracer is started now. Then go to server, click home button and click start. Enter the number of clients. Three. If you are a new user, then go to registration.java. Enter IP address of server. Click next button. Then add your username. Give password. And then click register. After that go to server click add user here click register now the user account has been created and click exit in server enter port number in peer connection panel and select connect button then run cly.java cl1.java then cl2.java give IP address and port number in each client. After connected with server, enter username and password in each client.
then click verify in server panel if the username and password are correct then it will show login successfully in each page in server both the attributes collect client attributes if you are a new user then go to client click profile collection button and enter your attributes click submit button and go to server click receive client attributes in client 1 now the attributes will be updated successfully do this process for all the client Click list to file in each client. Click the button list of files. Go to server. Click key generation menu and select generate cipher key. Here click the button file processing. Now the details are processed to clients. Select the file which you want and click send the request. the user requested file will be displayed in server click get parameters and click key gen the public key is generated based on the username and parameters and the requested file and their file size after that based on the public key the server will generate an user key repeat this process for all the clients click get parameter click key generate then select generate user key after that go to key generation menu and get generate signature here click get attributes then generate signature signature will be generated based on the user attributes then click verify go to client click sign verify and enter the place of birth here click verify if your entered attribute is true then it will show the user attribute verified successfully or else you can't able to get the decryption key from server repeat the process for all the client Next, click data decryption in clients. Then, in server, click send file in each client, and in each client, click receive file. The file decrypted file will be received now. Then, click send keys.
the key will be received but this can we cannot able to view or extract the key before decrypting repeat the process for all the clients Then in server in tracer panel, click get details and click send to tracer. Go to tracer now and click server. The server details will be displayed here and then click client. Go to each client and click decrypt file. Now the details are received in tracer. Click client one and below panel the username of the client and the file name and their server key client key will be displayed here now click verify the verification details will be sent to client and server user is using proper key here it will show that the key verified successfully and you can decrypt file now now only we can able to extract the original key in clients click client to then click verify each time you click with the clients the details will be sent to server and client click client 3 and click verify the driver details will be sent to server That's all the process is over. Thanks for watching clickmanproject.com.